Apparently today we're going to talk on the fish room floor. Today I wanted to give you a little bit of a fry update. If you have been following the channel for just a little bit now, you know that I unfortunately lost one of my favorite guppy types in the fish room ever. They were 24 karat ribbon tailed guppies and due to the heat I did lose them. I'm not exactly sure if I would have kept them anyway because right before I did move them out they were showing signs of ick. So in my thought process I thought maybe the extra heat would have helped but I did lose them. But luckily right before anything happened they did drop just a few fry. There was not very many and so far everything's looking good and I did want to share with you kind of what I've been doing to you know allow them to grow up. For the most part I have been just leaving them be and feeding them so it's not a very complicated process but I'm really excited to give you an update and show you how they have been growing up and give you a little update on our experiment guppies the one I'm planning on doing and continuing a breeding project with. Now, their tank is it's a 10 gallon aquarium it's nothing fancy it looks horrible but I am not concerned at all about what this tank looks like. All I care about is these fry growing up and so far they are looking really good. They're kind of exceeding my expectations honestly because I wasn't expecting them to breed true but so far I am excited about what the coloration is developing into and watching them grow and I wanted to give you a peek at this process too. So again I'm excited to give you this little update and I wish we had more but I am so thankful that I have these. So if we come up here to their tank. I do have them again in this 10 gallon aquarium. It is heated even though you can't see the, the heater back there. I do have a hang on the back filter. It's overgrown. It's nothing pretty. This used to be moss but now it's just algae. But here's the little fry. I think they're growing up quite nicely. They have a little bit of coloration starting to develop and their finage is starting to grow and it, I did not get again very many of them but the few that I have I think are growing up really nicely. I wasn't sure just how true they were going to breed but I am starting to get excited by the way that they are developing their color and their finage is coming in that I might have one or two that develop that ribbon tail. Again, if you do want to breed them, the males need to not have that characteristics. The ones, the males that have the ribbon tail, they do not breed. So hopefully out of these just few, we can continue this line, but we will see in the future as they grow. I have been mainly feeding them this aquarium co-op fry food. These veggie rounds, they really do like to pick at those. And then for flakes, I've been really enjoying these spirulina flakes by Fluval. And then I, it's over here somewhere, but I do plan on hatching more baby brine shrimp out in the future. It's just with this trip coming up, I don't want to start them right now. So hopefully when I get back, I do have some fresh eggs that... I am planning on using but let me know if you have any guesses in the comments let me know if you have any guesses on where I'm going but I'm just I'm really excited about having these I'm really thankful that they dropped just these few fry so even though I did lose them we do have these fry and they're starting to grow up and they're not very old but they are starting to hit that phase where you can see their color developing and I think they're really cute but we'll go ahead and feed them. I'll show you how they eat. I try not to feed them too much at a time but they're really good eaters.
There are some shrimp in here somewhere. I haven't seen them for a little bit. I didn't have very many. I think there was only three starting out. They're tiger neocaridina shrimp. I think they're black tiger neocaridina shrimp. But even though this tank is a mess, I need to work on the filter. But with these fry, I'm not really concerned with the filter being like a super heavy flow. With them being this small, I do try to keep the flow rate down. So even though this does need to be cleaned out, it's not interfering with the fight. The, it's not interfering with their growth in any way. And this tank is so planted with all of that valicinaria. And these little guys have a very small bio load that as long as I keep the feeding to what they can eat, they will be okay. But... Again, with these fish trips coming up, I really do need to get on all this maintenance. But let's go over here and I will show you how these other fry are doing. Our crazy mess. Let's see if I can get them to come up. They're growing up really well too. I do think we are actually gonna get one male I haven't scooped them up. Oh, there's another one. Actually, now that we're looking a little closer at them, I haven't scooped them up lately. It's hard to tell the males from the females when they're really little, but now that they're starting to hit this phase, I think we are actually going to get a couple males and a couple females. At first, I thought they were all females, but I haven't scooped them up for a while and really looked at them. I've honestly just fed them and left them alone and just tried to keep it as stress-free as possible. But I think these guys and gals are going to look really pretty. We're going to use them for a future breeding experiment. And again, with all your guys' help, we're going to try to develop a guppy of our own. Get your opinions. See which ones out of all the guppies that we do grow up, which ones we should breed together. And I'm excited to get... The results and the outcomes and see what we get but I'm excited for the I'm excited for all the fry there's a couple more tanks with some really cool fry in them but these two are definitely my favorite so far in the fish room and with these over here I'm just I'm just really thankful that we have them <laughs> I was so sad when we lost the parents but I am so thankful that these are doing so great. And with all that algae in the tank, I know it doesn't look the best, but they're constantly picking at it. So they're always getting fed. And all this valicinaria, they have room to hide and get away from each other. The shrimp, again, I don't have very many in here, so they don't seem to be bothering them. I don't see... Even though the fins are really small, I don't see any torn fins or anything like that. So, I feel like because I'm so nervous to move them and they are doing so well in this little tank, I feel like it's best just to leave them alone until they reach adulthood and then decide if we do have a male and a female, then we'll put them hopefully in a tank of their own and breed them again. The males don't breed if they have the ribbon tail characteristic. So hopefully we get a ribbon tail female and a short fin male, ideally, to breed. But it's a little early, I think, to still tell how that's going to go. But again, I'm really excited to have these fry and they are doing as well as they are doing. And... I wasn't sure if they were going to breed true or not, so I'm excited that they are. <laughs> but I thought this would be a fun little update share with you. My two favorite batches of fry that I do have in the fish room. I think guppy fry are adorable, no matter what kind of guppies they are. But let me know what your favorite guppy strand is. I think it's always exciting to find out everybody's favorite guppy. But if you are interested in learning more about guppy fish, check out sciencegalaquatics.com slash shop to get your copy of my book, All About Guppy Fish, The Ultimate Care Guide Today. But I have hoped you enjoyed this little update about my favorite fry that I have currently. 
and watching them eat. It's been really fun, and I will see you in the next one.